So we're going to draw this Lego brick. We've got the three planes. I've got the underneath I can take a look at. And I'm just scrolling around so you can see the different layout of it here. And eventually this three-dimensional figure will be represented in a two-dimensional drawing that should look like this. you got the top view, the front view, the right side view, and then the isometric view. You'll notice that these all line up. So the bottom of the front view is the bottom of the right side. The front view, the left side and the right side of the front view are also the left side and the right side of the top view. They share that in common. Okay, and this is the isometric or three-dimensional look. And your nameplate, it's got your name on here. And it was created on the date that it was created, and this is the drawing then that you turn into Schoology. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh, the directions, the steps, the tutorial on how to create the Lego brick. And to begin with, this is my on shape homepage and some projects that I worked on in the past. I'm going to create a new document, so I click on the button. That says create, come down to document, click on document, and let's call it Lego brick. And click enter or OK. It starts a new document. And the first thing we do is we make sure that we are in the correct measurements. So these three lines here, I'm going to click on that, drop down to workspace units, and change it to millimeters unless you're already by default there, except that. We're going to build it upon the top plane. There's three different planes here, and we're going to build it on the top. So select that, and then right finger click or two finger click, view to normal, and your block shows up, or your cube over here shows up the top, and that's, that's perfect. That's what we want. We begin with a sketch. We always begin with a sketch, and I'm going to choose the rectangle, I'm going to do a center point rectangle. So I start out with the center point origin, just click on it, drag out and click, and then hover over the very first measurement. And the very first measurement is 31.8. Click enter, hover over the next dimension, and that is 15.8. Enter. Now that is fully constrained, everything is black, it means it's ready to go. I can then accept that sketch. Now I need to extrude that. So I'll go to the extrusion tool, click on that, and it's going to give me a default. And I want, I don't want 25 millimeters, I want it to be 9.6. Then I click on what I want to have extruded, and if I right finger click, I can see that this is now three dimensional. And I like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. Okay, the next step is to build the nubs on top that make a Lego brick a Lego brick. So I'm going to Square it off, zoom it in, and I'm going to create a new sketch. And it asks me what plane do I want to place the sketch on. Well, I'm going to do it on the face of this brick. I don't want to do it on a plane. I want to do it on the face of this brick. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a center point circle. Just click and click, and now dimension this to... Um, the circle needs to be 4.8. So hovering over this 4.8, click enter. And now I need to know the distance. Let's say I did not dimension this yet. So I'm going to right click and escape the circle and say that I didn't dimension this or I've got an arbitrary number in here. So I'll double click on it, put in an arbitrary number we know is wrong. Okay, now I'm going to dimension it with this tool here. Dimension tool, click on the edge, 
drag it out and make this 4.8. Click enter. Oh, it's double dimensioning in it. Oh. Okay, now 4.8. I just erased it. I tried to dimension it twice, and that's why I came up red. Okay, now I need to position it. So with the dimensioning tool selected yet, click on the center button, and I want to dimension from the center to this edge. Click on it, drag up. I want that to be 3.9. Click Enter. Now from this center point here, click on it, this edge, click on it, drag out, 3.9, and that's going to place it perfectly on my blur, my block, and it is all dimensioned correctly, and I can accept that. Now I need to extrude that. So the extrusion tool, I want to extrude it 1.9, and I want to add. I want it to add to this block. I don't want a new part. I'm going to add. I don't want to remove to make it a hole. So I'm going to add and click on it. And it should extrude. Very cool. Now, instead of, um, yeah, I'm going to accept that. Now, instead of drawing it seven more times, I'm going to use a feature, which is really cool. View to normal again. Um, I'm going to go to this tool right here. This is the linear pattern tool. Uh, do a linear pattern, and I'm going to change the part pattern to a feature pattern. And I can select this feature. And the direction is along this path or this line. And I'm going to make them 8 millimeters apart. And I'm going to do four of them. It includes the one that you're choosing. Now, it started going this direction. I know that's not going to be what I want. So I'm going to click the arrow to change and go the opposite direction. And there, I placed them all in place. Now, before I click OK, I can go a second direction. Right on this panel yet, I can click the second direction and choose a new direction. So I clicked on the direction here and click on this edge. <laughs> And also eight millimeters, and we're going to make two of them, two rows, basically, is what it is. And as soon as it catches up and draws them, I think it's going to go the wrong direction. So I'm going to click the arrow here, and there they are. There Next thing we'll do is hollow out the underneath. Now, there's more than one way to hollow out something like this, but I want to show you a, a kind of a cool feature. So I'm just going to go to the bottom and I'm going to zoom in here. And there's a feature up here on the menu called the shell. When I click on that, it's going to ask me what face to remove, and then the distance is going to be 1.2, and the face is right here. Just that simple, huh? Pretty easy. Now there's other, some more circles we need to do underneath. So I'm going to accept this. And I'm going to right finger click and view to normal. Oh, I don't want that. I want to get underneath here. So bottom, and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to do two circles. And I'm going to start a sketch. And I'm going to do a circle on this face here. Okay, so select a plane. I'm going to do it on this face. So click on it. And I'm going to do circle, center circle, center point circle. I'm going to start with the origin. Click on that. Drag out. Click. And the first number is 4.8. And I'm going to make another one. I can click enter. I'm make another one. Click on the circle. Drag out. This one is 6.5. So we've got two circles that I click enter. And I can accept that. And now I'm going to extrude just this area in between the two circles. So I'm going to zoom in so you can really see this. And I'm going to extrude. And when I click on, I'm going to add. I'm going to click on just this area right in between here to select that feature. And instead of blind, we've been doing everything blind, I am going to 
up to face. And that will make it, a, and it's going to ask me which face. I'm going to do it on this face here. It will make it exactly the same depth. And I can click accept. Now I need to copy this feature over. And so I'm going to actually leave it in more of an angled view like this right now. And I'm going to do a linear feature. And I'm going to change to feature pattern. The feature is this piece here. So right in between, I'm going to click. And I'm going to, in the direction of, make sure I only have a line and not a whole bunch of lines. And I'm going to click 8. And I'm going to click 2. I'm going to leave 2. I'm going to center it. And there they are. And it looks like all the pieces of my Lego are now done. Okay, we want to create a drawing. And first thing I'm going to do is there's a tab down here in the bottom. It's called Assembly 1. I'm going to right finger click on that. Now, before I do that, I'm going to change the name here. So I'm going to right finger click on and rename. I'm going to call it Lego Brick. I'm going to click Enter or Return. And now I do a right finger click on here. Oop. Just click on it, maybe. Nope, just click on the tab and then go up to insert and we want to insert the brick and then I'm going to accept that and then I'm going to go to the assembly tab and right finger click and I'm going to create a drawing of the assembly so I'm going to use ANSI A inch DWT which stands for drawing template click enter and that is the perfect size, eight and a half by eleven. Be able to print this out. And I'm going to do a front drawing, two to one scale. You know what? I'm going to try three to one. Yeah, that looks better to me. And I in the bottom left corner somewhere in here I'm gonna I'm gonna place one up on top up here and one over here so I'm gonna find this spot right about in here and click there's my front view and then I'm gonna make sure that I have the projected view selected up here and I can bring my cursor out here it gives me an isometric drawing and click and the view I can click on this brick, slide it out here, and it gives me a right side view. And I click on here, and drag it up, and it gives me a top view, and everything is lined up. And it looks pretty good. All right, at this point now, I want to export this. So on my assembly drawing, I'm going to do a right, oh, no, I'm going to give it a name. So if I double click in here, I'll call it Lego Brick. Click Enter and accept it. And if I zoom in, it's got my name on here, the date that I created it. The title was Lego Brick. Everything is looking pretty good. Scale is three to one. I'm going to export this. So right finger click on here. I'm going to export as a PDF. And the file name is Lego Brick. And I could put drawing on here, but uh, since it's a PDF, I'm going to know that it is. And it will go right probably to your Google Drive. And you can turn that in on Schoology. So it should look like this when it's done.